Ja, die vijf zegens gaan. I'm in the process of transferring the fermented wash from the easy corn mash I did just before Christmas. Uh, run the, run the end of the still and I'm about to do a um, stripping run on this. Uh, so I'm running probably somewhere around 19 litres and it transferred over. Uh, we had 23 and a bit litres in here. Got about 3 litres. Well, yeast up to about the 3 litre line. I can't imagine there's that much yeast in there, but that's where it's sitting. Uh, so, uh, should get about 19 litres off this. So, uh, let this continue going. This has taken a while. It's just gravity feeding off the all rounder. Uh, I've got the temperature going underneath. You could probably just hear it. the Robo Brew ticking away, heating up. So we probably, I don't know, probably three quarters of an hour off uh, this starting to pull anything off. So I'm going to let this finish, continue getting set up. And I'll come back shortly and we'll have a chat about some numbers and see what we're looking at and uh, see how it starts coming off. Alright, uh, we're underway. Now, I didn't quite get the cooling or the heat uh, it's sort of just started. I uh, missed it by about 20 seconds uh, and we got some puking, which is just basically just means that the boil was too severe in the uh, in in the kettle, yeah, in your in your boiler, um, which means it starts foaming up and that foam gets up into the column uh, and comes out. Oh, I've just tossed it out, but what you end up with is, is dirty, mucky looking crap uh, which is no good so initially I just got turn the 1900 watt element off I got the 1900 and the 500 on uh, to heat up I dropped the 900 just to pull the temp off pretty quick which had done fast um, that will then swap onto another another jar but the 500 it's not going to run enough power on its own to do a stripping run would, uh, it, would, it works okay for a spirit run um, but not for, this, not for uh, a stripping run where I want to get off uh, nice and fast. And as you'll see, you can see yeah, that's coming off as just a steady run. Where if I'm doing a spirit run, that's going to come off as you know, a fairly quick drip. Um, go back and have a look at some of the older videos if you want to see that explained a little bit more. So basically, at the moment I'm running the 1900 watt element. I've got that at about 80% power on the voltage controller. Uh, and that's giving us, I could bump it up a little bit faster and pull it off a bit quicker, but that's good enough. That's just pulled off 200 mils in, yeah, maybe three minutes. Uh, so it's coming off, coming off nice and quick. I'm happy with that. Um, so right here I've got the first production coming off, which is where we're going to get our methanol, uh, which is the stuff we don't want. Um, this is what uh, fucks you up when you go to Bali. <laughs> They use their cheap homemade shit and they leave methanol in the beer. This stuff can kill you. We'll send you blind at the, you know, at its moderest. <laughs> yeah, but it does kill. Um, and it doesn't take a lot of it to kill you. It will shut your liver down. Your liver will fail. Your kidneys will fail. They can't process this shit. Um, so you've got to get rid of it. Um, so I've taken there about near on 250 mil plus, but I've already taken off with the with the puking. Um, so I'm happy enough to get rid of that. So I just go to a bigger jar. But yeah, that's it. There's arguments about how much methanol there is in a brew and how much you need to take off. But as I said, it is it is deadly, and it's not worth fucking around with for that for that little amount. And that's probably sitting around 70% alcohol. So. 
150, it's about 160, 170 ml of actual alcohol in there. Um, it's not enough to worry about losing over a whole batch. Yeah, you know, because at the end of the day, it's, it's not that much. Um, this stuff makes really good window cleaner. Also makes really good fire starter. Um, you take that, pour it onto, uh, you know, make your fire up in the backyard. Which you, I suppose you're not going to be doing this time of the year. But come winter, you build your fire in, in the thing with some, you know, these little twigs, put some big, bigger stuff on it. You don't need to worry about fight fire around getting the lit. Pour that over the top, get everything soaked in that, and just light it, and that will burn on its own for about 15 minutes. Uh, and your fire's ripping. The easiest way of starting a fire I've ever come across. And it doesn't blow up like petrol, uh, it's just a, it's just a soft light. Um, so it's not dangerous, you're not going to take your eyebrows off or burn your arms and all that sort of nonsense. But anyway, that's done. So now we're just going to take a couple of big jars. I've got four of these jars. These are, a, I think they're at 800, by memory, 875 mils. Uh, these are just cheapo jars I picked up from Big W. I've got about six of these bigger ones. Um, a bit dusty because I haven't done this for a while. Uh, but that should be plenty to take off what I'm going to get out of this. We took, end up with 20 litres into the fermenter, or thereabouts, give or take. Um, Original gravity was, you know, I've got it. Let me grab it. Original gravity was 10.68. We finished that at about 10.10, 10, uh, which gives us an ABV 7.6%. So with our 20 litres, we got, yeah, you know, fraction over one and a half litres of actual alcohol in there that we can extract. Yeah, you know, we're not going to get it all out. That just doesn't happen. I mean, the time goes straight. It takes a long time to get the last load. The less alcohol there is here in the boiler, the less you get out. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's quite difficult. Over this process and stripping run, I would expect to get average in the sort of 50s, low 50s, uh, 50 to 53 percent is sort of the end up. You will get higher and it doesn't take as off as you go. Um, so, 1.5 litres of alcohol, I'm going to safely, well, safely say we lost 200 ml to our methanol and to that, that little bit of a puke. So we've got 1.3 litres. If I can recover 1.1 litres of that, I'm pretty happy. Um, so, if we take 2.4 litres off this still, which will be three of, three of these jars, um, then that's going to get most of that alcohol. It will leave some behind, so um, like they're probably going to be about 200ml will we'll leave behind, some, something like that. Uh, but I'm happy with, that, happy with that. As I said, we do that three times. Three mashes, three spirit runs, sorry, stripping runs, then we do the spirit run. Uh, and that's where we get our final products, where we go nice and slow and we get it nice and clean. Uh, and we do the heads hearts and tails. Today I'm not worrying about that. This is just purely just ripping it off, get the alcohol out of the wash uh, and ready. Once we've done this three times we add all these jars back into here and then we do the stripping, uh, do the spirit run. Um, we'll come back and look at that. Um, for now I'm going to let this run so I'll come back when this is a bit further through, have a look at how much we've got. Um, let's get a look at some of the alcohol some of the readings, some of the numbers, um, and a yeah, little bit of a taste to see how we uh, how we've gone with this corn mash, uh, and whether it seems to be producing a um, decent product, which we hope it has. Yeah, that tastes that tastes fine. Nothing weird going on there. It's hard to taste at the moment because it's still hot and it's well, not hot, but it's warm. It's not cold. <laughs> it's not cool. We better have it cool down a little bit. So we'll um, check it with later. So I'll see you then.
Oh, no. We've kept running. I'm now onto a fifth jar, uh, which I didn't think I was going to get to, but I have. It's been an hour, just under an hour and a quarter since we started uh, pulling that first jar. So it's gone through pretty quickly. Uh, this will definitely be the last last jar. Um, run through, we've got 55% ABV off the first jar. We dropped down to 49, then 42. The fourth jar was, which is 42, which is why I kept went for the fourth jar. It's come off, and we got 34%. So I thought, well, I'll just let this last jar run. Um, rough calculations has given me, it's telling me that we are pretty much out of alcohol. Um, there can't be much left. So I imagine this last jar is going to be pretty low. Um, I said, this is more just just to finish it and get it all out. Why, why waste it? <laughs> it's my thought at this point. Uh, so, at it sits with the four jars, we're averaging 40... Oh, I've just thought you turned it off. Oh, I had it there. Is it still there? Oh, it was 45, I think it was. Um, Yeah, 45 over the over the four jars. I was looking for about 50 over the first three, and it was probably about 48. Uh, so pretty close, but I'm happy with that. So at the moment, it's till, I've got between 13 and 1400 mils of alcohol. Uh, so that going forward. Uh, will equate to one point four litres. Number four two fifty three three fifty about three and a half litres at forty percent. Um so yeah six six or seven bottles uh, just in one batch gonna do it three times so it's gonna be plenty but as for now to, i'm gonna finish this jar and this is done i'm gonna let these sit now i'll cover them up with just some um just some paper towel and let them breathe for actually no i won't it doesn't really need to breathe i'll just sift the copper in the jars and just let them loose overnight and tomorrow I'll put these into one in with Jimmy John and I'll sit until I've got the rest on. So uh, I will be doing a revised mash for the next ba for the next batch. Um, trying to reduce the amount of sugar, trying to get actual more of the corn and the barley and the rye uh, to get out the alcohol and not having to add the sugar. So um, this has certainly been uh, workable. Um, there's nice, there's nice notes, and that's got some nice flavour. There's a little bit of. A little bit of burn in there, a bit more burn than I would certainly normally get, but that's, again, this is only stripping run, and I'm not working on keeping it clean. This is just to get the alcohol down. But the flavour is definitely there, and that's the main thing I'm looking at. So that's good from that angle, and meaning, you know, that mash that adds sugar in it um, has produced a good result, which I'm very happy about. Um, but the next batch I'll be looking to... You know, bring that um, core percentage up. So I will do a a brew day bid on that um, just to see and document uh, how that goes through with the higher <laughs> the higher grain bill and whether that poses any problems or see how it goes. But for now, this has worked well. Uh, yeah, 
links up there to, to brew day, go back and have a look at the match and how the match went. Um, but yeah, going forward, we, we, we're going pretty positive. So guys, thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, Patreons, thank you very much for your support. If you're interested, there's a link down the bottom for the, the Patreon. Um, hit the subscribe button if you aren't subscribed. You know, if you like what's going on, give me, uh, give me a thumbs up. But for now, that's done. So, uh, till I see you with me head in the next whiskey jar. Cheers. Catch you later.